Hey, this is Chris with Vid Society, and in this video, I want to show you how you can build a WordPress website just like this in less than 10, maybe 20 minutes at most. Now, below this video, I will have some links that will make this process easier for you and more affordable when you go out and get your own domain and hosting, which you have to have to build a WordPress website. And a lot of people gets confused between the two, the difference between web hosting and a domain name or URL address. So think of it as comparing it to your home and your home address. So your home would be the web hosting where everything sets in and resides. Your home address would be your website URL telling people how to get to your home or how to get to your website. So you do have to have both. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Namecheap and I'll put a link below this video where you can come here and you can get the, these shared hosting plans uh, very cheap and only pay month by month if you want to. Maybe it's just something you wanna start out and try. See if you like it. That way you don't have to pay uh, by the year, by two years or even five years, which a lot of hosting companies require. So in this video, I'm gonna start from the very beginning to show you how to build a WordPress website, including buying a domain name, buying a new hosting account, uh, installing WordPress, and getting the website set up. So here we are inside of the shared hosting plans, which is what I'm gonna use. This plan here is gonna work for me. I'm gonna choose monthly. If you choose yearly or two years, you do get an extra discount. But for this, I'm just gonna go ahead and choose monthly where I can build up to three different websites in this hosting account. I'm gonna go ahead and click started. And what I'm gonna do is register a new domain name. Once again, this is gonna be like your address telling people how to get to your website. And we're gonna scroll down here and we are going to search for a domain name. Now, I like to use a different website to find my domain names. It kind of gives you a lot more ideas and that is at namemesh.com. Now, when you go here to this website, it is free. It just helps you to come up with a lot of ideas and shows you available domain names that you can buy. So when you go here, you wanna enter a keyword based upon whatever the website is you wanna create, and then you're gonna click generate. Make sure you untick this box here that says show best offer, or you're gonna get an ad every time you search. So for this example, I'm just gonna use the word video and click generate. And it's gonna come up with all these different ideas and put them together for me. You can see here, uh, new, there's nothing available like video.com, video.net, uh, there's video.shop and .win. Lots of times under SEO, there'll be a lot available. If you keep scrolling, it'll check for different domains that are available using different words. Uh, but video is a very popular uh, word, which is, I'm actually surprised to see all of these are available. And what we, what we can do is pick out any one of these in this column, in this column, or in this column here. You can see how they just kind of mix things up. So this one here says uh, video, OP, I don't like that one, invent video. Um, let's just find something here. Okay, let's choose this one here called Versa Video. It sounds like it's something that could be brandable. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my hosting account, type in versavideo.com. It's gonna automatically see if it's available. It says it is, it's only $8.88 a year. So we're gonna connect this to the hosting account we're buying. So when we purchase our hosting account, this domain name is already gonna be associated with it. So you can see here, the total is gonna be $11.94 uh, for the first month, um, which is gonna include our hosting of $2.88 and our domain name, which is $9 a year. We're gonna click add to cart and I'm gonna go ahead and purchase this. Okay, you can see here in our cart, uh, we can set it for one year for our domain name, or if you wanna buy more years up front, you can. If this is something you plan on keeping for a long time, make sure auto renew is turned on. If you do not have this turned on, what's gonna happen is when your domain comes up for auto renewal, it's not gonna renew, somebody else can buy it, and then you're gonna lose that domain name. So make sure this is turned on. Domain privacy, this is gonna hide your personal information so people don't know who actually owns the domain name. I recommend keeping this turned on. And then right here we have for our hosting, we're gonna pay for one month. And then this here, you can leave all this. You don't need none of this stuff here. And then go down and click on confirm order or click up here where it says confirm order. Okay, and now it's gonna take us to the final page where we're gonna scroll down to the bottom. We're gonna tick the box uh, just to approve everything and then we're gonna click on pay now. Now we're getting a confirmation that the order is processing. And once this is done, they will send us an email 
which I will show you here in just a minute too, which is going to give us our login details and show us how to log in to our new hosting account, which we can then install WordPress and set up the website. All right, so I got my welcome email. I'm going to take you through and show it to you and explain exactly what all this is. Uh, just a heads up, I will be changing the passwords and stuff that you see in here just in case you want to try to log into my account. So if we scroll down here, you're going to see your hosting package details, your, the domain you registered. You're going to see your server host name. So this is the server that your website is going to be hosted on, and this is the IP address. Now if we scroll on down, we can log into our account here. You can also connect new or existing domains. So what this means is maybe you bought your domain name or your URL for your website at another hosting company. If you did, you would have to use both of these name servers to redirect it to your new Namecheap hosting account so it knows where to work at. But since we bought ours directly with Namecheap, we don't have to do this. If I scroll on down, you can see here logging into cPanel directly. So what this will do is log you into cPanel where you can install WordPress and get started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click right here on this link and open it in a new tab. And you can see here where we can log in. So I'm going to grab my username and my password and click login. Okay, so here we are logged into our account. I'm gonna go ahead and click dismiss this. And now we're basically ready to install WordPress. So after buying your domain and hosting, all you have to do is sign into your cPanel account. You wanna scroll down to the bottom where it says WordPress and click on it. And then from here, you wanna click install now. And then you're going to choose your installation. We're going to uh, click this drop down and we're going to choose HTTPS because we want it to be secure. You should always do this. It also helps um, with having your website more noticed in search engines and without having an error displayed sometimes when people try to access it. Under directory, you want this to be blank. You do not want this to be here. You want to leave this to be the same. They'll always pick the latest version to install here. It's saying SSL certificate was not found yet. We'll fix that in a little bit. Uh, for your site name, you can go ahead and give it a title. I'm just going to call this Versa Videos. I think that was my domain name. A description. We can put uh, my favorite videos. Then you want to create a username and a password. And this is what you're going to use to log into your WordPress site with. So I'm going to leave this the way they are, but I recommend when you create your account, change this from admin to something else so it's more secure. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, put this down on my notepad. You want to make sure you copy this and put it somewhere so you know where it's at. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to log into your WordPress website once you create it. Next, you want to enter your admin email. This is where your emails are going to go when people contact you through your website. So you want to make sure this is at an email address that you receive emails. Next, you want to choose your language. You can choose to install certain plugins. Uh, Classic Editor is a really good one. Limit Login Attempts is a really good one. Uh, just go ahead and choose those. Scroll down and click on Install. And then we're just going to wait here for a few seconds. It's going to install WordPress and then we're going to be able to log in. Okay, congratulations, software was installed. Here is the link and then here is the administrative URL. This is where you're going to log into your WordPress site. Basically, they just add a wp-admin after the URL. So we're going to go ahead and open this in a new tab. And you can see it's giving me this connection is not private because the SSL was not installed. I told you earlier, we'll go ahead and take care of that here in a little bit. So don't worry about this. Click on advanced and proceed to Versa video. Okay, it automatically logs us in the first time we log in. What I like to do is log out. And then I log back in and then I use my password manager to save the username and password so I don't forget it. So I'll go ahead and copy my username and password and log in and then save it. So now we are inside of WordPress. So far, super easy. Hosting, domain, install WordPress. Now we're in here and now all we have to do is come over here to plugins. 
and you want to come up here and click on add new and then over here in the search box you want to type Astra A-S-T-R-A and when you do that it's going to show you the results of the plugins and this one here says starter templates and you can use it with Elementor which is a web designing uh, tool we're going to be using. We're going to click install now and click activate. Okay now that it's active you can see it down here in our plugins. What we want to do is click on see library and it's going to show us all the available templates. First it's going to ask us uh, for a page builder that we're using. For this example I'm going to use Elementor. That's my favorite and once it loads it's going to give us an option to install any one of these templates already pre-made and done. Now, you'll notice some of them says premium. These are ones you got to pay for. You don't have to if you don't want to use these. So don't just come up here under this drop down box. Click on free and you'll see all the ones that are free. So what you want to do is scroll down here and find one that you like for your website. This is the one that I had installed on the demo at the beginning. I'm going to go ahead and click it. And then you can see here the home page, the about page, the services page, and the contact page, what they all look like. I think it looks great. So down here at the bottom, we can either import the home template, which is just the home page, uh, or if we just want like the about page, we can just import that. I want to import the entire website, so I'm going to click import complete site. Now by chance if you already have a website created on your domain, just be careful because this may overwrite everything on it. So if you're starting from scratch like I just did, you have no worries. Uh, on the drop down box, you just want to click it and click whether you're a beginner, intermediate, advanced, and just click whether it's who it's for, and then click next. You don't have to enter your, your uh, name or your email. You can click skip if you want to. And then you can see here where it's installing the Elementor plugin, which is what we're going to use to edit it. And we'll give it just a minute here and that's it that's how easy it is to do so if we click on view site you can see now this is our website at versavideo.com and this is the entire page which we can go in and edit very easily so let me show you how to do that when you go to your website when you use wordpress you can click on any of the links it's going to take you to those pages on every one of those pages you're going to notice up here this bar where you can edit the page or you can edit with Elementor. Since we installed Elementor um, with this theme, we want to use that to edit it because it's so much easier. It's like a drop and drag editor. So what we can do is we can go back and click on the home page, and then I can click on edit with Elementor. And it's gonna show us now inside of the editor. So on the left hand side, we have all these different elements that we can add to our website if we want to. I can make this a little bigger actually which is what I usually do and then on this side we can see the entire website and all we have to do is just click and whatever we want to change you can change so when you click in one of these boxes you can come over here on the left hand side and you can change out the text so maybe we want this to say multi wordpress multi-purpose template use you can see how it adds that over here and you can do that with all the text if you don't want the text on here all you have to do is click on which one you want and then click on this little edit button. You can right click on it and it gives you the option where you can edit it, you can duplicate it, copy it, you can delete it. Down here is buttons so you can click on these buttons. and You have all these different options here. You can put a link right here. Just remove this and add your own link whether you want to align the size of it. You can add icons. There's all kinds of stuff you can do with this. And the same with the images. You can simply click on them come over here and you can change what the text says you can add a link to it so it takes them to a different page um, same with all the text and everything that's on here now what I recommend is Elementor is um, it's an amazing plugin to allow you to create WordPress websites much easier than just using the standalone editor that comes with WordPress and there are hundreds probably thousands of different tutorial videos on YouTube that can teach you how to use Elementor. Uh, there's different add-ons you can add on to make it more unique. You can start from scratch and build your own custom site, landing pages, opt-in pages, uh, e-commerce sites, anything like that you can use Elementor with, with WordPress to create those, those kind of pages. So if that's your goal in mind, uh, go to YouTube, 
do some searches for Elementor tutorials and you're just going to find loads and loads of them. It's going to help you uh, to build your website and make it exactly as you want it. But overall, this is how easy it is to create from scratch a brand new website and have an up and running within 10 to 20 minutes from the time you purchase your domain to hosting to accessing your cPanel, installing WordPress, and coming in and setting up your website. So from here, it's up to you to customize it, to do with it what you want. And one more thing I almost forgot to mention is that up here, our site is now secure. So now we have this little lock button, and this is something that Namecheap done automatically for me, so I didn't have to go in and make any other changes. You just have to give it a little bit of time for the SSL certificate to become active to make your site more secure. So the way you can find out if it is secure or not is when you go to your website, make sure that you type HTTPS, just like this here and then your domain and then it will tell you when you click enter if it's secure there's going to be a lock there if it's not secure you're going to get the message that we got earlier on our screen but you shouldn't have any issues with this if you do just uh, go on there on Namecheap's website do a support chat and they'll get it fixed for you so super easy to do and so that's all there is to it so I hope you guys enjoyed this video on uh, how to build a website with WordPress if you did let me know by liking this video subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon and when you do, I will notify you when I upload other training videos, uh, tutorials, product reviews, just all kinds of stuff that I do on my channel. That's it for this one, guys. Have a great day.